Hey there, future GRE conquerors. Are you ready to tackle another challenging word that could make a significant difference in your test performance? Today, let's dive into a word that might just give you the edge you need on test day. We're talking about acerbic. This word is not only useful, but also quite interesting once you get to know it. Now, acerbic is one of those words that packs a punch. It's a word that can add a lot of flavor to your language, much like a strong spice in a dish. It comes from the Latin word acerbus, meaning sour or harsh. This origin gives us a clue about its meaning and how it can be used effectively. When something is acerbic, it's sharp, biting, or cutting. Think of it as a verbal equivalent of a sharp knife slicing through a lemon. Imagine biting into a lemon. That's the kind of zing an acerbic comment might have. It's not just sour, it's intensely sharp and memorable. So why do you need to know words like acerbic for the GRE? Well, it's not just about impressing the examiners. The GRE isn't just testing your math skills or your ability to read passages, it's evaluating your understanding of the English language at a deeper level, including your ability to grasp nuanced meanings. It's evaluating your understanding of the English language at a deeper level. Knowing words like acerbic can help you understand complex texts and craft more precise, impactful essays. Knowing words like acerbic can help you understand complex texts and craft more precise, impactful essays. This can be particularly useful in the analytical writing section of the GRE. Let's break it down with a couple of examples. Seeing how a word is used in context can make it easier to remember and apply. First, in a sentence, the critic's acerbic review of the movie left the director feeling deflated. This example shows how the word can be used to describe a harsh critique. Here, the word acerbic tells us that the review wasn't just negative, it was harsh and cutting. It had a sharpness that went beyond mere criticism. Another example, her acerbic wit often left her friends laughing but also slightly stung. This shows that her humor is sharp and biting, not just funny. This shows that her humor is sharp and biting, not just funny. It's the kind of humor that can leave a lasting impression, for better or worse. Using acerbic on the GRE can boost your verbal score. It demonstrates a sophisticated understanding of language. Let's say you're faced with a challenging reading comprehension question. Understanding words like acerbic can help you decipher the author's tone and intent. If the passage describes a character's humor as acerbic, you now know it means their humor is sharp and biting, not gentle or kind. This insight can help you answer questions more accurately. That one word can change your understanding of the entire passage. It's like finding a key piece of a puzzle that makes everything else fall into place. To prepare, start incorporating words like acerbic into your daily conversations and writing. The more you use them, the more comfortable you'll become. Use flashcards, apps, or even make a game out of it. Engaging with the words in different ways can help reinforce your learning. The more you practice, the more natural these words will feel. They'll become a seamless part of your vocabulary. Remember, the GRE isn't just a test of knowledge. It's a test of your ability to think critically and communicate effectively. A rich vocabulary is a crucial part of that. Expanding your vocabulary is a key part of that. It's not just about memorizing words, but about understanding and using them effectively. So, next time you come across a word like acerbic, don't just skip over it. Take the time to understand it and think about how you might use it, embrace it, understand it, use it. Each new word you learn enriches your language and enhances your ability to communicate, because every new word you learn is another tool in your GRE toolkit. The more tools you have, the better equipped you'll be to tackle the test. All right, that's it for today. Keep studying, keep practicing, and keep expanding that vocabulary. You've got this. Keep studying, keep practicing, and keep expanding that vocabulary. You've got this. Remember, every bit of effort you put in now will pay off on test day. Until next time, happy studying. Stay motivated and keep pushing forward. Your hard work will pay off.